what we're starting to observe more and more, especially in the agricultural endeavors of California is Roundup resistant weeds. And this is an example, you can spray Roundup at a pretty good percentage and it just seems to kind of like burn it but doesn't kill it. This weed was actually sprayed um, two and a half weeks ago with about a 3% solution and a, probably the most opportune time. It wasn't stressed, it was not uh, all the things that can go wrong. But yet you can see that just it just kind of curls uh, the leaves a little bit. I mean, obviously this one here is pretty dead, but it was small at the time. And these are just, and this is Queen Anne lace or wild carrot. And you can just see it's just hurt, but not crippled, but it's not dead by any means. And this is spraying both sides. So the, uh, the ATV had gone down here and then on that side. So we had a good pattern of spraying like both sides, not just trying to do one every other row and call it good. Here's some uh, mare's tail right here. Again, it was sprayed all the same time. This is stunted, but now this is starting to, uh, to take over and start to grow. So again, we're gonna dig these out. And so weed management in any form or, you know, it's just getting tougher and tougher. You know, we hear of the horror stories in the San Joaquin Valley where there's resistance to, with certain weeds, whether it's a rye or a um, mare's tail or a willow herb or some of these um, weeds that just kind of grow right on through it like nothing's a hit it. And now we're starting to see a little bit more of it up here in the north coast as well.